Yeah, he didn't really cha chain smoke is when you're lighting one off the other and like going right at, back to back. I mean, he smokes a good there bit. There were some just, of those moments. He's for sure a Yeah, smoker. everyone's gonna have some of those moments, okay? But there's a difference. No one complains when you're snorting coke at night, Woody. <laughs> Come on, man, let's do a rail. And I'm, we're all just like, no, Woody, you're too hardcore. Slow it down. <laughs> oh, well, now like, that you put it in those terms, I can start to understand. That smoke is going right in my fucking face. Yeah, yep. I don't care who. Join the club. So, yeah, I, I'm glad we did this thing, I think. Um, it's definitely a good experience. It's, these are memories, for sure. I'll Doctor, tell people you, about this silliness later right? on down the road, I'm sure, but I don't think I want to do another one. Not, no. not like this. Um, not wow. any more hardcore than this, and, and not any easier than this. Or Just not this at oh, all. That's hard. Yeah, the first one, when Woody and I went up to Uari, I was so excited about it and, like, jacked up and, like, you know, we were, we were, I was on the internet learning stuff and reading up on it for weeks ahead of time. I worked out a ton. Um, and, uh, and this time I just didn't have the same drive, the same fire behind the trip. I was just like, all right, well, you know, let's go do it and we'll get it over with. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's what we've done. And tomorrow we will have gotten it over with. And I'm, I'm psyched about that. So happy. Uh, I got up this morning at what, seven? Something like that. Yeah, I got this morning like seven and, went and got our ingredients and got back by uh, by 9. I think I'm going to do the same thing in the morning so that I can get all my shit together. And, and, yep, uh, I'll be up. Yeah, I'll... Uh, I found a better way out of here, too. I, I, I know I've told you guys, but for the viewers, like, it's hard to get back here. Um, if you watch the first episode of this thing, it's probably the first episode, the trek in, you'll see that, like, we went through a really, really rough area to get back here and uh i think this time around i've now that i've trekked back and forth to the truck i've done it once every day may some a couple times twice uh, i think i figured it out now so i'll be able to get us out a lot easier than i got us in and well, uh i'll follow you in the morning yeah we'll get out of here get and shit uh, out of here get back to my house take a shower and then look for some food it'll be nice <laughs> It'll be awesome. I'm so surprised we haven't seen any animals. Like, it, it's not just that we haven't seen the squirrel that I expected. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen a rabbit. I haven't seen a possum, a raccoon, a deer, a pig. Every I, so often, I think I've heard something. I think I spent more time fishing. Yeah. And uh, so I'll be out there over there by myself. I definitely saw a thing move last night. 100% sure. Could have been a turtle, you know, like just... You know how they stay like a foot from the riverbank? Well, there's a family of beavers living right here. I mean, yeah, well, I haven't seen them, but clearly we've seen their activity. Yeah. Um, but I, I just, I have never seen anything that I could point a gun at. Huh. Yeah, I haven't either. I don't know what the deal is, because when I was driving around back here, I saw so much stuff. Paid a hundred bucks for that hunting license. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I paid 75. Um, and at least mine's useful for the rest of the year. Mine too. No. In here. Georgia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Come on back. <laughs> we'll not kill something again. Yeah, maybe we'll do a hunting trip. That'd be fun. I, I like hunting. I, I really enjoy it. Um, it usually goes a lot better than it, than it has been on these things. Um, usually when we go hunting, we have a great time, kill a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Our belts are all getting loose and like... <laughs> it's all good. Look at that enormous caterpillar crawling toward the hatchet. Oh, I see it. I bet that one's one of the poisonous ones that would sting you. Yes, I have no talent at discover figuring out what I can eat and what I can't. Henrietta would have got that son of a She'd bitch. She'd have tore him to shreds. <laughs> yeah. Henrietta. She'd have our... taken down bugs twice his size. Have you really? Have you, have you seen her taking out caterpillars and stuff? Yeah. Big fucking bugs. I definitely saw her poking at things, but I oh, didn't see her... Tore uh, them apart. She would sleep like under Chiz. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he was sitting over there, she'd be over there, and when he got over here, he she'd be over here. Like she'd stick right with Chiz, because I think she spent more time with Chiz, because I was out a lot. My mm. spirit animal. Yeah, that I think Chiz's spirit animal is a a factory farm chicken. 
<laughs> and now and now she's inside of me. If you, it makes a lot of sense, you know. They're they're very sedentary creatures. You know, they they sit around. They, they just kind of do their own thing. I, I think. The, I think I heard her chirping about the stock market before I got it. Capital gains. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so we drove out here on Sunday, Chiz and I, and then by Monday there was an escaped rapist murderer, like a mile from our house. The police told everyone like not to leave and stuff like that. My wife, she runs in the morning around the, like across some of our driveways. And uh, like she makes us loop. And she and Hope didn't want to go outside because the police were telling people to stay indoors. He, uh, he raped a 15 year old girl, murdered a guy and attempted to murder another guy all in like a night. And uh, she was real scared. I, I thought she'd be a little better with a gun on her hip, you know, because we're Americans. But uh, she seemed to be like, I'll leave it in the safe and just grab it if I need it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Every time, that's happened uh, in my area a couple times, you know, like an escaped convict or, some, mm -hmm. you know, a guy on the loose and the cops are looking for him. And one time it was really close to our area. Like this the police. Yeah, like the police came to our house and they were like, Have you seen this guy? Have you seen anything suspicious? Like he's in this area on foot in the woods. You know, his car, he was driving from North Carolina trying to escape to Georgia. He had murdered his, uh, his girlfriend and I think maybe her mother and sister because they were present during the, the whole like meltdown or whatever happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, his car ran, um, broke down or he ran out of gas and cash, whatever, whichever a quarter of a mile from my parents' house, and uh, the car is just parked there. So my dad, being him, um, he joined a posse. Yeah. <laughs> they got a posse together. Yeah, fuck yeah. And, you know, he's got his shotgun, and they're going through the woods looking for this guy, and uh, somebody yells, he's in the woods. Someone spots him. So now dad's, like, jogging, like, looking for this guy. Like he, Later he was like, that's pretty fun. We were hunting that fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Like the old days in Georgia. Yeah, yeah, we hadn't hunted a black man in years. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they, uh, it happens every now and then. It is scary. Um, I would definitely want a gun on me. Like, I wish I was home. You wish you were home? Well, I, I, I would have, you know, I would have. Our place would have been safe. I'll tell you that. Yeah, you get up on the roof with your 223 with a scope on it. That sounds like a good plan. Bring it! <laughs> this is what we trained for! You was wing him at first. <laughs> Shoot him in the knee. We're awful. People see Americans and we talk like this. And they just they think we're just... It's probably a good thing that, they, that we have this reputation. Don't you think? Fuck yeah. If you invade America, oh my God. You were so fucked. We really... Uh, like, we all got guns and we all daydream of this shit. You're so fucked. Yeah, like I, I'd love for a scenario to come up where I have to, you know, have someone coming after me in that kind of way. Like a bad guy. Like not just someone who, who has a difference of opinion, mm -hmm. but a bad guy like that. Like that guy's evil, right? He raped that per raped that 15-year-old girl. 15-year-old. Murdered those other two people. Um, and one of those people you were saying, they called him Mr. Pawn. He ran a pawn shop there in your mm -hmm, area and mm -hmm. was like a beloved member of the community. There's a whole like vigil outside, people dropping flowers These off and stuff. customers are like, you know, the guy's like, I wish I could have taken that bullet for him. Yeah. People are dropping flowers, leaving notes, you know. And I know people like that in my community, so it's, I can understand. So fuck that piece of trash. Mr. It's, Pawn. It's a real shitty son of a bitch. He wasn't, he'd been in and out of prison, hadn't been out that long. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the guy was Multiple full on terrible. Felonies. Like there are evil people. I I, don't, I think people don't don't think like that in those terms anymore. Uh, in terms of good and e e evil, because there's so much ambiguity in that in that regard. But there are evil people out there, mm -hmm. and this guy was one of them. Yeah, he still is. I hope he's getting raped. Hope something bad's happening to him. Raped. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd be okay with a good raping. Yeah. Who wouldn't? I guess I'm in prison anyway, right? That's what they say. I don't know how prevalent that is. Right. You I feel like know. there's there's guys in there who are like wanting to get fucked. I'm sure there are. Um, so like I, I think if I'm gonna if I'm looking for some man love in prison and I'm Big Bubba, you know the guy you fear, mm -hmm. I could find me a girlfriend. I feel like. Yeah. Like I don't have to force some guy who doesn't want it, who's probably not good at it. I want to find the guy over there who's like, yeah, sugar, I can. I'm gonna back up on that thing. Mm -hmm. Like that's what you really want, right? I, I mean. I don't think everybody wants gets off on the actual force sex rape. thing. Yeah. You know, these guys aren't all like evil. 
Some of them are in there for marijuana charges and, I don't know, not paying child support. Those are all the girlfriends. <laughs> Those are the girlfriends? That's how that works out, yeah. yeah. The non-violent ones are the bitches. Hmm. The tax evasion boys. Yeah, I'm not sure how prevalent the whole, like, rape thing is in prison. Because I just feel like there's, if, if you want it, there's people who are willing to give it. Right. I, I just, I knew some prison guards and they seemed to imply that the rape thing... It pretty much like it was one of the ways the guards punished the other prisoners. Mm. Well, that's just awful. Some really, really bad people you were hanging out with. Yeah. I hope that's not the norm. I hope that you just had awful, awful people in that class with you. Because <laughs> that's awful. Yeah. He painted one of his fingernails. I thought that was the weirdest thing about him. Interesting. That, no, that definitely wasn't the weirdest thing about him. <laughs> no signal. Did it? I don't know what happened. 